Because you know what? We all have the goals, yeah. but then we're not necessarily 100% sure how to get there. What is the path? Yeah. What's the journey? You're going to help us with that right now. Any goal with a dollar sign attached, because there's the big three, right? Mortgage, retirement, mm. education. Those are the most boring, like, <laughs> oh my God, I'm so bored, wake me up. But they're really <laughs> exciting goals that people don't necessarily plan for. Like, for example, you're talking about salmon. Maybe your goal is to go salmon fishing in BC. Maybe. Maybe your goal is a renovation that includes a pizza oven in your backyard. Oh, yes. Maybe your goal is a hobby, like going to chef school. Yeah. All of those things are kind of like life goals, but they have a dollar sign attached. They do, so they are all considered to be financial goals yeah. and you think to yourself hmm the pizza oven sounds great but wh how do I start yeah and the first thing is to think about what you want which I'm mm. I know like uh, kids think about what they want all the time and they talk about it and demand it yeah but as grown-ups aside from some online shopping we don't actually take a step back and think holistically mm -hmm. about what we want in life when it comes to family physical health contribution travel now I've got a couple photos of a recent vacation oh my gosh. We, you know we have a six-year-old and yeah. Dennis and I took Abby to Vietnam so there we are stunning. in the, a stunning river with Abby on this crazy boat and then there's another photo of Abby and I actually riding an elephant six-year-old these are life goals life goals and they're not free right <laughs> but they're not free they're not. and not only are they not free but they take even if you've got the buckets of money how do you sort it out so you've got the time off work and all that yeah. So I want to help people develop a plan that factors in absolutely the financial component, but also mm. the other bits and pieces that are required in order for you to have what you want. I love that you always make that connection between the dollar sign and your life. Yeah. It's not about the dollar. It's yeah. about the life. Yeah. So just figure it out so you can get yeah. organized and you can actually do all of these things. Okay, so you've got a goal. Yes. You've figured out what you want. You've yeah. thought about it. Yes. Now what do you do? You write it down. Write it down. You write it down so it's real yeah. and so it's shareable. Okay. Because so much of it is like, I have this goal, but it's, you know, you're not really, you don't have an action plan. You can't talk to people about it. So the goal is, what do I want and how do I measure it? So here's mm -hmm. a great one, I think, for families is a date night. Yeah. A date night is a dollar sign attached. So what's the goal? A date night. How do I measure that? Mm, once a month. I've okay. had no date nights in three years. So once a month would be, you know, like good. Yeah. How much are we going to spend? Maybe it's 100 bucks. Okay. 70 bucks on a meal and 30 bucks on a babysitter. Got then it. the plan part is, what are the actions I'm going to take so I need to ask the parents at the park for the sitter I right. need to check with the spouse on the make sure they're available on that <laughs> particular day me, please book the sitter pack lunches to free up that hundred bucks because oh, right. if neither of us go to the food court for you know a week or two weeks we mm -hmm. might be able to save the money and then what I'd love for date night is set up a separate savings account mm -hmm. where 20 bucks goes into that separate savings account for you as a couple this is huge. And yeah. the thing is, it's happening automatically, yeah. constantly. Yeah. So you're always meeting your goals passively. And it's passively happening because you've set it up. Yeah. You look at that balance and go, geez, we've got 300 bucks in that account suddenly. We haven't clearly haven't been on a date night in long enough. And right. I would say your marriage is one of the biggest investments you make. Right. And I don't mean that. I mean, sure, there's the, the mental health benefit of not going through a divorce. Mm -hmm. But there is also simply from a financial perspective, mm -hmm. anyone who's been through it is like, if I didn't have to pay for those divorce lawyers, I'd be a millionaire <laughs> by now. And two houses and all that stuff. So yeah. aside from the many benefits of staying married, yes. uh, think about the financial benefit. And so the date night actually has an incredible rate of return. Yeah, it can be somewhat therapeutic. Yeah. It might keep you together, yeah. which is an amazing thing. What are we doing wrong when it comes to our goals? So what are we what are we not hitting? We're not having a plan. We don't so have a plan. we have a great idea, but no plan of action. It, you know, if you want something to happen, and you have to do stuff to make mm -hmm. it happen. Second is sometimes the plan simply isn't sufficient. So okay. we've got this plan, it's just not enough to get us there, or it's too much. It's like, oh, you know, I want to lose 50 pounds. Well, I want to lose them by tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Well, it's never going to happen. So you're going to fail right away. Okay. The last one, and I think this is the, the killer app of having your goals come true, mm -hmm. is sharing them. Yeah, why is that so sharing important? Them. Because you exists, say that, and Dr. Karen says that all the time. Yeah, like, put it out there. It exists outside of your brain. Uh -huh. So if you think of any area of your life that's important to you, uh, community makes the, an enormous difference in terms of support, ideas, and accountability. Mm -hmm. If you share with the people in your life, the people who are like your big cheerleaders, your best friends, yeah. they're more likely to say, how's that date night thing going? Yeah. And you might be annoyed when they ask you that. Uh -huh. You're like, I've done nothing on the date night. I don't even like my husband. Right. But at least someone's asking and it hasn't disappeared into the ether. So sharing it is a huge, huge idea. Even if it means your friend's going to say, you know, listen, you said you were going to do that. You never did that. And you're uncomfortable about it. It still will be helpful.
to bring So it's all about accountability. It's about accountability. And okay. here's my last point. Yeah. I want you to set yourself up to win. Mm -hmm. So you want to win at this goals thing. And I heard that there's this uh, sex advice columnist named Dan Savage. I love Dan you love Savage. Dan Savage, right? She's awesome. He's, he's talking about sex life for parents, especially with young kids. He's like, just have some. It could yeah, be just like, have a little, it not even matter. good. Yeah, just do it. But just have it. Yeah. Because otherwise it's weird because six months have passed and you haven't had any. Right. So just lower your <laughs> and expectations. And the stakes are so high. Yeah. Yeah. So the date night is not, Just we're going it, to the people. top of the CN Tower, and I will have a wind machine blowing my hair back at wearing an haute couture gown. It's like, <laughs> no, go to A&W near your house. Share a blizzard or whatever it is. That's it. And there's your date night. There you go. Just have that. Lower your expectations. Have a positive focus and right. measure yourself versus yesterday, not versus the ideal. Because, of course, the ideal date night is all that I said. This romantic thing that is loving. Blah, blah, blah. No, yeah. just have a positive focus. We didn't have a date night last month. We did this month. Let's do it It was this at month. a and w. And last but not least, mm -hmm. always remember you can pause your goals. Okay, so right? things have happened. Maybe the roof caved in, whatever. We need the money We're for that. We're not having it. We're not going to Because you don't do want to be beating yourself with a stick to say, yeah. I promised Bruce on City Line I was going to have a date night once a month and I'm failing. No, no. Yeah. Success. You're on a winning team. We want you to stay on the winning team. I love that. Yeah. I can tell you one of the best dates I've had with Leo was at an A&W. Right. Yeah, like we went to a fancy dancy TIFF event. It was yeah. awful. Right. It was awful. Everybody was all posing and right. everybody was pretentious. You kicked off your high heels and oh, said, yeah. get me a double burger with bacon. Thank you. Stacked. And let's talk yeah. about all those snooty people Absolutely at that party. Absolutely boring It was the boring, best date night. I love people. it.